Hello fellow horror fans on YouTube. I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and today I have a religious horror film from 1988 to talk about that I rarely see anyone mention. The film sees a priest go up against evil, and it is called The Unholy. God, what is it you will have me do? The Unholy. You haven't got a prayer. In The Unholy we meet Father Michael. He miraculously survives a tragic event without any harm, and is quickly after given the task to reopen the St. Agnes Church. A church that has been held closed for quite some time due to it being the place of brutal murders of both the previous two appointed priests. While also serving his new church, Michael starts to investigate the death of the previous priest. This gets him in contact with a local satanic nightclub and its sleazy owner Luke. He finds out that a waitress named Millie works for Luke, and she was also the last person to see the previous priest alive. At the same time that he's trying to figure out who is responsible for these heinous crimes, he also starts to experience weird stuff around him that forces him to consider if the blame can perhaps not be put on human beings, but rather something supernatural, evil, and unholy. So, I kind of enjoy horror films with religious themes, more than I really should, as I don't consider myself to be a believer of anything really. Yet I find many movies that deal with the subject to be fascinating, and at times even scary. I guess it could have to do with the fact that the evil in religion is so big, powerful, and pure bad, that it is easy to understand it, and as such it makes up for a great evil supernatural entity in a horror film. The Unholy is based on a script by Philip Jordan that was written way back in the 70s and supposedly even before The Exorcist came out. And the story does feel like something that would come out from that decade, but before shooting this they of course had to update it and modernize it to its time, adding gore, nudity and big creature effects. And what it ultimately ends up being is an uneven film that has a lot to offer but not managing to bring it all together to truly fulfill its potential. The film deals a lot with temptation, but it doesn't do it very subtle. Minor spoilers here, but the priests have basically all been seduced by this naked, red-haired woman that wants to go down on them. If they agree, then they are doomed. If they are able to stand up, vertically, then they get to see the real face of this demonic seductress. It's a bit too easy, and I think they could have executed this idea a bit better in the script instead of reducing it all to priests basically needing to learn to keep their stuff in their pants. We are also introduced to this satanic nightclub early on, and I felt I could have either done more with that part of the plot, or just erased it and spent the time on something else. I guess it didn't help that I didn't care all that much for William Russ as a nightclub owner Luke. He looked like a Billy Idol cosplayer, without the edge, charm and punk that Idol embodies. Speaking of the performances, I am actually a bit unsure if I am happy or not with their decision to cast Ben Cross as the leading man, Father Michael. His character is stern, rock hard, logical man who does not let his emotions show quickly. He does not come off as the most interesting or compassionate priest I've ever seen, and I would believe that this guy would be more of a detective or something like that. But at the same time, I also have to praise Cross's performance. He does take his job serious, and you can clearly see that in his acting. I should also mention that the supporting cast is very cool, filled with experienced, elderly actors that have done this for years and years and know exactly what they are doing. Hal Holbrook and Trevor Howard both show up, and even Ned Beatty is in it playing a detective. What I liked the most about the film was that they were able to set up some great scenes, including one or two jump scares that actually made me jump. Other scenes are constructed in a beautiful, colorful way with the visual style that did impress me. There are also some awesome special effects at work here, and while they all didn't fit the tone of the film, they are on their own very cool and well made. I also enjoyed the mystery of finding out what was really going on even if I didn't think it all delivered to my satisfaction in the end. A reason for why The Unholy turned out to be so uneven in tone and vision is perhaps due to the problems between director Camillo Villa and the studio. 
Villa himself said to Fangoria in the 80s that he did not look at the Unholy as a horror film at all, and it is clear that the studio highly disagreed. Westron was not happy with the original cut of the film, and ordered reshoots conducted by special effects artist Bob Keane. These reshoots were not oversighted by director Camilo Villa, and it amped up the creature effect to make the ending more of a monster spectacle than what the original tried to go for, and also added some, in my opinion, unnecessary flashback dream sequences inserted every now and then. The Unholy was a fun experience, although it is a film brought down by both not being tonally coherent and letting its off-screen troubles infiltrate into its final product. Still, I enjoyed it, and if a religious horror film with some cool effects from the late 80s sounds like something you can enjoy, then sure, give it a chance. I might just have to upgrade my old DVD to the new fancy Blu-ray release from Westron, which seems to have several great special features to it that I would like to see, including footage from the original ending. I'm gonna give The Unholy the good score of 3 out of 5. Have any of you guys out there seen The Unholy? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Put it down in the comment section below. If you want to hear me talk about another horror film that seems to be mostly forgotten, and has religious themes in it, then check out my review for the severely underrated Italian film The Demon from 1963. If you enjoyed this video, then pressing that like button does actually help and lets me know that more videos like this are wanted. Subscribe and all that good stuff, and I hope to see you back in the future for more horror movie stuff here on Cinema Terror. Thank you.